Hi. I'm John Biggs with TechCrunch. Uh, we're sitting here with uh, Mike Butera of Artifon. This is your invention. That's we're right. here at CES 2013. You're, you're toting this around to show this off, right? That's right, yeah. First time. So this is, a, this is a, apparently the day of, of uh, musical instruments. So describe what you have in your hand. So basically, we've created a uh, multi-instrument that uses an iPhone as its brain. And uh, I'll just run through the kind of instruments that people can use it as. Obviously, we have the guitar, um, which is familiar to a lot of people. We can change to a bass mode, um, which lets you tap and uh, also strum like a bass would. If we go up to um, the violin mode, the ergonomics of this thing are made so that you can hold it in multiple positions. We use this as a bow. If we go to uh, banjo mode, and I'll, I'll go down to a uh, kind of a synth thing here. So we have arpeggiators down here, mm -hmm. so uh, you can do traditional banjo stuff. And then um, we can also do two, in two different instruments and use it more like a, uh, a drum pad or a, a All right, very cool. keys. So, so you're, t you're a formerly touring musician and now you basically you've created the, your ideal musical instrument, right? That's right, yeah. I, uh, I'm a multi-instrumentalist myself and uh, play uh, violas and, um, and guitars and such. So I wanted something that you could kind of do them all and wasn't so specific. Also a way that people can learn other instruments besides guitar. Mm -hmm. And what's your plan for this thing? So this is the first prototype, but... Uh, this is our third prototype, our third but prototype. Our, our first announcement of it. Sure. We've been working on this for two years. Um, and we're based in Nashville. We, uh, we're making it out of uh, fine hardwoods and really aiming for the, uh, the professional musicians. Um, so we are looking to start pre-orders in uh, Q2 and delivery uh, sometime this year uh, in uh, small scale production. We're doing uh, production in Nashville and otherwise domestic. Um, so pretty different than, than a lot of others. All right. So what do you say to the folks who are basically looking at these things and like, oh, another MIDI guitar, another MIDI controller? What's the? I, it seems like this is, might be the dawning of a new era for well, we, stringed instruments. Almost. Yeah, absolutely. We think so. Um, the the biggest thing, uh, besides the multi instrumental nature of it, is we're actually using uh, force sensing on here. So it adds that third dimension of musicality that musicians expect. You don't just trigger a note; you vary the the attack and the pressure of what you're going to do there. So we have uh, force sensing on both the strum section and the fingerboard. So can you, really do, can you show us some demos of how you're doing bends and things? And Yeah, so um, the uh, if we just go back to that, well, I'll go to a harp sound. And... Uh, So that's using the gyroscope, but as far as the force sensing in here, right now we're mapping that to velocity. Okay. So you, you can vary both on the fretboard and the strum uh, your attack volume and uh, aftertouch in MIDI. Right. So that, that really adds the depth to it. How much do you expect this thing to cost when you're done? Um, this version is our high end, that's where we're starting, and we're going for around 800. All right. Um, and then we'll be doing more mass market versions after that. And where can people find it? Uh, Artifon.com. Artifon.com. And, uh, and yeah, we're, uh, we'll be releasing more details soon. All right. Can you play us out, Mike, for us? Yeah, sure. All right. I'm John Biggs with TechCrunch TV. Thanks for watching.